Hi, I'm Angelo Casimiro from TikTok Profiles. I'm Angelo Casimiro, I'm a Filipino thinker and inventor. I'm currently a student at the De La Salle University of Manila studying electronics and communications engineering. TikTok. The first thing that comes into your mind when you hear the word TikTok, it's an app where you can find funny videos or people who loves to dance. Now, I wanted to change that perception that people can learn in a really fun way. So I joined TikTok by the end of May of 2020 and started posting DIY contents and do a bit of educational talk on my videos as well. I've been posting videos on YouTube for a long time ago and I just discovered TikTok recently. Now the reason why I started posting on TikTok was because I found out that it's a rising app and here in the Philippines, TikTok is heavily used by people of all ages, especially in the masses. So I figured, hey, it's a really great way for people of all ages, especially for the kids, to get into the world of science and technology. Outside of TikTok and YouTube, as a content creator, people's perception of me may be a bit different. I'm actually just like everybody else. I play sports like basketball. I also love to cook and bake. As far as it goes, my favorite are French macarons. I also do go out with my friends. I also drink. I'm a I may be a nerd, but I'm not a complete nerd. But if there's one thing that I do really love, it's photography. It's one of my main hobbies. During my breaks, I go out with my parents and travel around the world, and I bring with me my camera and take a lot of photos. I do have a separate Instagram account for my pictures. You might want to check that out. And so yeah, most of my hobbies revolve around photography and filmmaking. What excites you about technology? Well, the possibilities. I mean, look around you. Everywhere you go, you are surrounded by technology. Back in the day, you used to have a television for entertainment. You had to carry a bulky camera to capture those memories. You also had to have this pocket phone book to remember all your numbers. And you had to go to the library to find your books and the information you need for your studies. And today, all of those things, they fit right into your pocket with a phone. That's what's amazing about technology. It's a never-ending quest to make life better and easier. What's one problem in this world that you would want to solve? I would love to protect Mother Nature and help save the environment by thinking of ways on how we humans can develop other sources of renewable energy for a much more sustainable way of living here on Earth. Well, for me, the hardest part of being a content creator isn't actually the building stage of my DIY projects. It's actually the brainstorming stage where I do have to think of a unique idea before I make a project out of it. Now, just like any other content creator, I do hit slumps and run out of ideas. So the first thing that I do is that I visit the comment section from my videos and try to listen to my followers or subscribers and see what projects are they interested in. And that's probably the next project that I would do on the next video. What really amazes me is how one person with an idea and a camera could change or affect the lives of others. That's why as content creators, we are tasked with a big responsibility. My only message to you guys is to never give up. Even the most successful businessmen, scientists, and engineers all encounter failure at some point in their life. It's a matter of how you use those failures to learn from it and try to come back stronger and smarter the next time around.